is still midday live on TV3. Let's go to one major concern which has become of global attention. The Holocaust was a genocide in which Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany and its collaborators killed about 6 million Jews. The victims included 1.5 million children and represented about two-thirds of the 9 million Jews who had uh, resided in Europe. Killing, the killings took place throughout Nazi Germany. Germany occupied territories and territories held by allies of Nazi Germany. From 1941 to 1945, Jews were uh, systematically murdered in the deadliest genocide in the history of mankind, which was a part of a broader aggregate of acts of oppression and killings of various ethnic and political groups in Europe by the Nazi regime. Other victims of Nazi crimes included ethnic Poles and other uh, people from uh, Slovakia, Soviet Union, and the Soviet uh, POWs, POWs, I beg your pardon, Romanis, communists, homosexuals, Freemasons, Jehovah Witnesses, and the mentally and physically disabled. So we have been joined in studio by the Israeli uh, ambassador to Ghana to try and see how we can as a, as a not only as as a continent but globally how we can ensure that we do not have a recurrence of such a deadly disaster on the world on on mankind let me just uh, in, to introduce him then we can go straight into the interview hello sir thank you very much for joining us yes um, he is Ami Mel, the uh, Israeli ambassador to Ghana, and um, we just want to talk about this concern of the Holocaust. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure having you. First of all, we are about some 63 years on. Um, do you think it is necessary to still remember something which people say is a dent on the image of mankind? Well, the war ended in 1945. We are in 2000. 17 and the holes around the world happen every day all over the world should i mention what is happening in africa in darfur in south sudan in somalia uh, in uh, nigeria in, in in so many countries in libya so many countries mm. the, there are many problems that we should solve and one of the problems that we should solve is the silence. Because one of the problems that, uh, of the Holocaust is that the world knew what's going on, but maybe didn't want to believe, maybe couldn't believe, because how come Germany uh, could do such horror, horrific things? Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm coming from a family of uh, Holocaust survivors. <coughs> I would s if I would say that most of my family, over 90% of my family, uh, was murdered during the Holocaust, it won't be an exaggeration. Wow. Uh, our people, actually, at least number-wise, did not recover. There were 18 million Jews before the war, 1939, 12 million Jews after the war, and today you have around 15 million Jews all over the world. That's it. So, so we cannot we cannot decouple recent happenings from what happened several years back. I would say more than that. I would say that the tragedies did not start with the Holocaust. Here we are in Ghana. I think that we cannot forget the big tragedy of Africa, which is the tragedy of slavery. The tragedy of slavery did not m probably did not mean meant to kill the people, but to use them as merchandise. But we are talking about millions mm. of Africans that were killed or died because of the slavery. Mm. This is a huge tragedy. Maybe if in the 17th, 18th century, somebody would pay more attention to that, uh, the other tragedies could be uh, we, we, we could we could uh, escape them. Yeah, that's, uh, no that, that's why we have to remember. The Remembrance Day of the Holocaust is not only about the Holocaust. It's about the future. Mm. It's about the way we want to see our world, the way we want 
to leave this world to our children. How, how do you relate um, the dangers of genocide and genocides that have occurred in current times to that of what happened in the past? You know, the only thing is that we're talking about killing innocent people for stupid reasons. Right. And I, I don't want to compare this is bad and this is bad, this is sad and this is sad. We have to put an end to, to all yeah. those genocides, to all those killings of people all over the world. And we have to be sure that we know, we understand, mm. we remember, so we can uh, stop it, okay. how prevent it. How are we remembering the <coughs> day? Um, clearly, it's not only in Ghana, it's a global remembrance. So what are the things we are to do to remember the day? So actually, the day is the 27th, 27th yeah. of uh, January. This is the day that uh, the Red Army, the Soviet Army, liberated uh, the camp of Auschwitz. Unfortunately, most of the prisoners of, uh, the, of the camp, among them my father, had to, uh, s to walk the death marches uh, from Auschwitz uh, to towards Germany. Many of them did not survive it. My father survived it. Uh, so most of them were not liberated. Very few people were liberated, really, in, in Auschwitz. But it was a symbol. That's why this day is the day to remember uh, the tragedy of the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Now, to remember is to know, to remember is to discuss, to talk about it, mm -hmm. and to try to find uh, solutions for the future. What we are doing here is a conversation uh, with local people, with diplomats. It's open to the public, it will be today at uh, the British Council at 6 o'clock. It starts at 6 o'clock, okay. not Ghana time. 6 o'clock, it six starts, okay. <laughs> prompt. And uh, we will talk about the conclusions for the future. Okay. Because okay. the idea is not only to talk about the past, but to understand what we can do for the future. Because mm. the future is changeable. The past, you cannot change the past change. anymore. All right. Uh, we're grateful for your time and thank you very much for joining us. Ami Mel is the Israeli ambassador to Ghana and uh, has been helping us understand why there is a need to recognize the Holocaust Day and celebrate it. Education, public awareness, very important. So we do not have this recurring again. We wish you all the best and I hope to have you again some other time. Thank you. All right. So